mega shows it's not in good condition so I want to see if it's just in this connector or not so I'm going to undo this and clean all this up it's a little bit cleaner it's on there this is the electrical entrance on the train and this is from 1995 slide this off vertically you can see there's a bunch of crud in here so I'm going to go through and vacuum this out this has got a uh, Megs like it's screwed up and so I want to vacuum this out and just see if it's maybe just a pinched wire or a compressor completely screwed up so I'm going to vacuum all this out here too there's a vacuum here I am down inside the unit box. It's interesting since I got the cover off here on this five ton crane and vacuumed out all the crap in there and on here when I go through and use the mega over here instead of being bad it reads a little bit higher up on here Actually, it's up to good, so that the uh, problem was probably the crap that was in there that was uh, Katrina crud. It was all shorting on the terminals to the frame. So, there's a chance I can get this sucker to go again. So, I'm going from one of the pots to the frame of the unit here. And probably after I clean this up, we'll read higher. That's not snow, that's soap. They're pretty clean. We'll look at it tomorrow. Kind of a big ordeal to take those uh, sides off. Okay, here's I'm going to use the uh, Megger here on the compressor wires to the frame of the machine. This is the frame of the train here. Hook this under one of the compressor wires. Then the other wires over here need to be not touching anything. I'm going to go push this down. Get about 300 to 400 megs, which is good. Earlier, it was completely the bad because there was crap down in the connector. Uh, down in the housing where the uh, wires go in because they had a bunch of marsh grass in there. Now, just for good measure, I'm going to go through and try this hand crank unit. Put that on the frame. Put this on one of the compressor wires. This is an old Navy unit. Need a trawler tripod. I'm supposed to do this three times a second. It reads about roughly about 300, 100 to 300 mega ohms, which is good. This was last calibrated in 1968. Now, what's interesting about this unit is that it'll go from 20 down to zero. So you can get half a meg, one meg. So if you come over here and look at the heater wires on this train. And I go from the ground over here to the one of the heater wires. It also goes to the uh, thermostat down there. It'll read bad. Below 20 megs. And it might just be the insulation's broken down. If I put this on the older one, I 
can see where it is below 20 megs. And I'll put the mag around the heater. It's about a mega ohm roughly. So it's not a total short. This has probably got salt crap on the zip cord here. And that's just enough that it's going through onto the uh, leaking to ground. Shouldn't be used, but that's just, it's not like it's a total dead short. This is a, a Biddle Z M55. Um, it probably says it's from last calibrated in 68. It's a Navy cow. This actually is a hand crack generator and uh, puts out 500 volts when you turn this at, I think, 180 RPM, which is three revs a second. And it's got a scale that swings. So sometimes two of these devices is good because it just gives you in the ballpark good, bad, caution. It's excellent. And then the, I want to know where it was below 20. It's about a meg. That's a mega ohm at 500 volts. At least on this is 500 volts. Again, these are the wires from the heater. The zip cord here hooks to a train crankcase heater, and then the two purplish uh, blue ones are the ones that go to the thermostat that turns it on and off. Uh, below, I think around 70 or something like that. So in the unit, these two hot are up to 220 volts, and I think it puts like 60, 40 to 60 watts to heat the heater up. This is a Subco M500 mega ohm meter. Goes from 1,000 mega ohms down to two. And this is an old hand crank biddle. You turn this three revs a second, puts out 500 volts, 160 RPM. Anyways, it goes from a 1,000 mega ohms down to zero. And so the Subco's range 20 to 100 thousand is between 20 here and a thousand so if you kind of want to explore what's really kind of going down at a lower range sometimes one of these older devices uh, is interesting to use to kind of see how bad of a screwed up insulation you have and gives you some clues about whether you've got some wire that's just got something broken on it or something touching a frame or is it completely a dead short